Trans women are not women. Before I start this video, I would like to announce I have a Patreon page where you can get some awesome rewards, so I'd recommend checking it out. Thank you very much. I'm kind of tired of the trans community calling everything transphobic and everything's transphobia, anything which has to do with criticizing them because they don't have valid arguments. I'm also tired about the trans community actually lying about their identity and actual evidence. Example that trans women are not born men, which I mean, obviously they were born men because they wouldn't have transitioned. That's why they're called trans women. Where's the logic in that? Same thing applies to trans men, but I do think that more people talk about trans women because trans women are much more identifiable than trans men. Therefore, I thought we would talk more about trans women. Trans people are, all, are always going to be defined as their biological sex. It's biology. That's how you were born. That's how you will die. Now, trans people can often represent themselves as the opposite gender if they really do please to, because that's what being trans is. Even though they're born biological male, they have the option to be living as the opposite gender. And the way that they can fulfill that is going on hormones and being able to change their ID, name, and then also their appearance and even gender on their ID card. So it doesn't make them a cis woman because they transition to a woman. It simply makes them a trans woman, which is basically almost the same, but they're still not cis woman. I don't understand what's hard to understand that. The reason why this is an issue, because if you go to a doctor and you have some kind of medical condition which has to do with you being born as a man or being born as a woman, you're going to have to be honest with yourself. You're not going to tell them, hey, I'm a cis woman even though I'm a trans woman. Like, there's a there, there could be problems and I feel like it's very dangerous, especially if you're going to have serious operations or you're going to have some kind of medical you, diagnosis or something where you really have to be that certain gender because it's not going to work otherwise. And not to mention, it's just factually wrong. How can you say a trans woman was born a woman? I already told you, they go on hormones because that's how you transition. And then there comes these kind of trans folks who think that the, people are born with male and female brain. So they would say that, that trans women are born with a female brain. Now, hold up a second. I just want to preference that trans people come in all shapes and sizes. Some come really bulky, some come really thin. There are guys who are really thin, really feminine, and you would assume they would be trans, but they're not. And then you have these bulky people who are trans women, who you would think, why are they not just normal men? Because that doesn't suit them. That's my point. Trans people come in all shapes and sizes. I don't think you would have a female or a man brain when clearly trans people come in all shapes and sizes, so I don't think it's that big of coincidence that someone will have a female or a male brain, because being trans is basically a 50-50. You don't know unless you're actually the person themselves, and they don't know exactly if they're trans or not. Some people, it's really obvious that they're trans, and some people, it's just not for them. And then there's trans activists who go around and say, well, women who can't have children, are they not considered women then? And my answer to you is, they're still cis women, because they were born as a woman. Um, trans women are still trans women, because they were born as a male. I don't think that's really hard to understand. Trans women have XY chromosomes, while cis women have XX chromosomes. I still don't understand what's so hard to understand that. But still, people push this stupid shit like this. Are trans women really male in any way that matters? I don't think so. Now we can say that your gender is based on how you identify because we realized that basing gender on perceived sex was oppressive. Oppressive. Oh, this just gives me a headache. And there's stupid trans people who are making up fantasies that there are cases where chromosomes don't function properly and people with male chromosomes, people develop wombs. So these trans people are so freaking brainwashed that they will believe that trans women can produce wombs because their male chromosomes weren't working. Like, how does that work? But with everything being said, I just want to say I'm not transphobic. Um, this is simply to show that the trans community is very stupid and don't like to believe facts because it hurts their poor feelings. I feel like trannies need to understand that there's no point in lying to yourself because it's not going to get you a stable relationship or people to accept you for lying because that just shows how little credibility you have. Then there's even dating apps which are just for trans people. I still don't understand why 
you would feel uncomfortable saying that you're trans because you might think someone won't like you. If you're going to be together with someone, make sure that they like you for who you are, not because the way they think you are. Make them like you for who you are. In conclusion, I think trans people should be much more accepting towards other people's criticism and much more factual with what they're saying and not make up these kind of lies, which they always do, just so that they can feel comfortable in their own skin. Because I feel like they need to feel comfortable with the facts before going out and lying because that just shows that they have no credibility. So if you didn't enjoy this video, make sure to give a like and comment and subscribe if there's some point which I missed or something which I said incorrect, make sure to comment down below. I would really appreciate that. Thanks so much. Bye.